Hello all, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Today we are going to create a very simple PB script which can keep your screen without lock. So there can be a situation like where you need to execute some automation scripts and you want to keep your user interface alive without getting your system to uh, move to lock state. But due to some system policies, there may be constraints to remove the locking mechanism in your system. Okay, so at that time, what you can do, you have to create a very simple VP script which can trigger a keyboard event and it can keep your system alive without locking mechanism. Okay, so that's what we are going to uh, see today. So, how you can uh, execute this VP script is an another question. For that, we have an automation uh, environment that is providing by Microsoft itself. So, we are going to use that Microsoft Windows host environment for running the VB script okay so let me show you where we can find that uh, uh, windows host uh, script so for that we need to go to c drive okay inside that uh, we need to go to windows so inside uh, windows we need to go to system 32 okay then search for w script okay dot ec so this is an automation tool or we can call it as an environment which is uh, uh, providing by microsoft itself for executing different kinds of uh, uh, scripts uh, scripts which we are developing okay so we are going to utilize this particular uh, environment for executing our uh, vb script okay so let me take the path first okay so it's windows okay or i'm going to keep it like this here okay then uh, what we have to do we need to create a, a simple uh, vb script okay so uh, before writing our action lines what we have to do is first we need to create an object for the environment okay so how we can uh, create that set okay i'm going to name it like a, a obj equal to we are going to create an object create object for what for w script dot shell okay so this object will help you to access the properties and methods that is uh, providing by the uh, environment okay then uh, what we have to do we need to write a loop right so uh, whatever the action that we are going to do like suppose if some keyboard event means we know to do it in a loop right then only we can keep our system uh, live so i'm going to write a loop in a uh, loop in a vb script so so what we have to do we need to uh, trigger a keyboard uh, event okay so what is a keyboard event i need to uh, execute for that what we need to do is i'm going to use my object obj dot i'm going to send some keys okay so send some keys means it will action the keyboard events so what action that i i want to do i'm going to uh use okay okay i'm going to uh uh trigger an event for the number lock okay so it will not affect my uh automation execution also like suppose if i'm going to use some ender or something maybe it can impact my uh, script execution right so i don't want to do that so because of that i am uh, keeping uh, the number lock as the event okay then i want to do it like a loop correct so here we miss something like if you give it like this what will happen it will do this action repetitively right so it will uh, trigger this number lock uh, without any delay so uh, we can keep a loop loop right like even if we um, activate the locking uh, mechanism in the properties um, anyway it will take at least minimum of uh, one minute for getting our system to get lock right so uh, we can also keep a, uh, a locking uh, period of uh, uh, one minute so how we can do that we have to go for w script dot sleep then we have to give systy into into 
thousand okay so this thousand is nothing but the millisecond and to convert that to minute we are multiplying with the 60 okay so 60 into thousand we can get a one minute as the sleeping time okay so let me save it i'm going to save it so let me save it in the desktop itself so uh okay i'm going to save it like a uh, my script dot vbs all right okay so that is done so what is the next task we need to execute this vb script right so either uh, you can uh, run it from the command prompt or you can create a batch file also for executing this one so what we have to do we need to get the path right uh, first let me copy the path of our uh, wscript.exe so the property panel we already opened it's wscript.exe wscript.exe and we need the path of a vp script right so i'm going to desktop properties my script dot pps vp yes okay so before executing the script let me add up a one more line uh, to our vp script because that will help to uh, easily understand how the script will execute okay so let me add uh, a, a message box to our script w script dot echo mm, i'm typing like executing okay so this will help to uh, generate a message box for each uh, execution inside the loop so every one minute it will generate a uh, message box okay so let me execute now okay so now you can see uh, you got the we got the error message like executing so i'm just clicking on okay so every one minute it will throw that error message okay and uh, it is uh, uh, throwing this error sorry and it is uh, sending the keys for number of also so it means uh, it is triggering this particular keyboard event also so that that will make your system uh, live without getting locked so in, uh, in your script while you're executing you don't need to add this particular line this this we just added just for understanding how our uh, script is executing in a loop so just try this script in your machine if there is any requirement like you don't need to keep your system lock uh, for running some automation uh, scenarios or uh, something okay so hope this video is useful if it's if you find it useful just share to your friends like the video comment your opinions then don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching